So if I if could, could be meet. any character that I that no no if you could meet oh meet oh, oh I, I thought, thought you said be I was like uh, I thought you said be no because yeah, that's okay what would you do with their bodies that can kill them if we could meet any character that we played <laughs> who would it be and what would we do with them yeah and who would you be I I would be uh, me no. oh yeah <laughs> no or, or or who would we be if we yeah. could be any character we've ever played before yes Wait, 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 wait. So, <laughs> so, so wait, if we could meet any character, if we could physically meet okay. okay. right. If a train leaves First Chicago, question. if we could meet any character, okay. yes. meet, meet, who, okay. who would it be and what would you do with them? Okay. okay. And the other question is, who would you be? Oh, ah. Okay. 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 <clears throat> I'd be a DJ. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would, if I could meet any character yeah. uh, I played, I would meet, um, uh, Setsuko, I believe is her name, the two-year-old in um, Grave of the Fireflies, and oh. I would save her life. Spoilers. Oh. She dies. Oh. 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 Yeah, oh. I would feed her and clothe her and make sure she doesn't die. Um, and then if I could be any character that I've played, I mean, other than like murdering a bunch of people, I probably <laughs> wouldn't be Uryu Minane, and I wouldn't murder a bunch of people, I would just wear the eye patch and be a badass. Uh, yeah. well, you probably should be her again. That's true. Mm -hmm. Skip all the murdering and arm getting ripped off and eye getting gouged out. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> man, if I could meet any character, I'd probably want to meet uh, Hana Oshiroi from Bento because she's a nerd and we could sit around and write fan fiction all day and geek out <laughs> together. Um, if I could be any character, I'd probably be Perona from One Piece because she's got killer, like, goth style, and she can summon ghosts, and that's pretty Hell cool. Yeah. And uh, her power is that her ghosts go through someone and take all the hope out of their lives. <laughs> and I feel like there are times I would very much like to do that. Like, just in Grove, when people walk into the room, and be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at my peace. <laughs> <laughs> I take a move away. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Dallas traffic, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not hopeless enough. There you go. <laughs> if I could meet any character, I'd be I'd be very selfish, and I'd I'd, I'd say something like uh, I'd want to meet Shenron and wish for like all the powers of all of the fighters, <laughs> and just be like a superhero. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, like I I'd I'd want to just be some badass fighter, or I'd want to be uh, like someone from the world of. Uh, like the like those weird magical shows like Save Me Lollipop or somewhere it's like yeah I just want some I just want some like magic power I want I want to do something um, if I could meet anyone um, gosh I don't know it would uh, uh, that that one's tough I, it would probably be some uh, beautiful woman from any anime and just and just be like there you are you did it. <laughs> Congratulations. I don't know. Like, You're permitted a conversation. Yes, now. thank you. <laughs> May I speak to you? Thank you. Like, I'm, I'm hanging out with you. It would be like meeting a celebrity now. <laughs> it's like, oh, I met Jennifer Lawrence. I'm just going to stare at you for a bit if that's yes. creepy. Um, yeah, I don't. Yes, I don't, it is? Yeah. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. Did you know? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, that's why it would just be tough. Like, who would I meet? What would I do? It's like, I don't know. I'd, I'd hang out with Yajirobe and eat all day. <laughs> like, I don't know. Who can do that? Yeah. Uh... I would like to meet one of the one of the more interesting things uh, that I got to do was a cyborg butler, sort of th not a cyborg, no, uh, an android butler thing. It was on Galaxy Railways. I remember that, and it was the first. Uh, oh God! Yeah. And there was you know, this this very polite sort of a robot thing, and they were. I remember they were trying very hard to describe what the character was like. Uh, because they wanted to make sure they did not say C-3PO. <laughs> because then I would just do Anthony Daniels. Doing the, no, don't, put, don't do that. I'm trying to, I want you to get this sort of a quality to it. Uh, uh, but this character was very, um, I, I don't know, it's part of the, the hardcore technophile sci-fi fan that I am. I would really love to meet uh, uh, a robot butler. Who would like to help me out with things. And is being polite. And that, 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 you know, that's just... 
Well, as I'd say, I'd just like to meet a decent person for once. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd meet a decent person. Um, in terms of anybody I'd like, I would like to be, like, on the one hand, you talk about, like, these great big bad fighter guys. Yeah. So, and as cool as that would be, uh, I, that doesn't really come up for me in life, though. <laughs> so it wouldn't help if I had supreme martial arts skills or like I was uh, I, I finally finished Jessica Jones recently and that show taught me that having really great super strength only makes your life mildly convenient occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> so like a cut oh god I go to parallel park there okay but I don't really know how to do that it only saved me a minute. Uh, yeah. all right. <laughs> So, like, it would be cool to play, you know, like, there's this Mohawk character on Samurai 7. We only ever call them Mohawks, but, um... <laughs> with the, the glasses and with the, the, with the thing. And yeah, the, oh, yeah, the pink Mohawk. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, uh... You were one of my minions. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you said minions. Minions. <laughs> mean, nasal and deep. <laughs> minions, minions. But then, you know, um... Let's say I was I could I could you know pseudo fly and leap off walls and that that doesn't actually that would have no effect on my day to day. It'd be a party <laughs> trick. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. Yeah, but you know I can also shuffle cards really fast. But what is that? You know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That sounds like a great anime. <laughs> <laughs> Card shuffling. <laughs> yeah. What else we got? Yes. Sir. So magical. We have no restrictions, no worries about ratings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the right question. Hey, what manga, novel, or comic book would you love to produce and or love? Oh. Even if it didn't matter, you know, it doesn't have to be successful or popular. Or so we're talking if we were to, to invent a concept for you now, as opposed to find something that I wish I had been a part of the creation team for something that exists. Yeah, something that doesn't exist that you bet oh. may never be oh. yeah. animated, but you would really just love that. I would love an anime version of like Grimm's fairy tale. Ooh, nice. Like just really dark gothic so horror fairy tale. That's I think there is a manga about that, but it's Don't is, uh, so pick another smash your dream. Is that what you think? It's very erotic. Oh. No, that's what she'd do. <laughs> Damn it. Google me. Okay? <laughs> yes, I don't have a problem. It's, Google's a different term. It's, it's, Google. It's, Google. It's, it's like, <laughs> the wolf hooks up with Ben Riding Hood. Ah. <laughs> that kind of thing. It's a wolf children. <laughs> yeah, no. um, they're making oh, it. Oh, poor people. Yay! <laughs> oh, they're all, they're all here for Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's oh, no. on anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, I told you I'm sitting up front. Uh, the BBC is doing a um, they're doing a live action. <laughs> Let the new folks get settled, and we'll get back to your question. Fine. You're making face. I'll come back. <laughs> That's so festive. So sorry I interrupted your panel. <laughs> uh, I would really like to see an animated version of uh, the His Dark Materials series. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I really love that series. And the Golden That's... Compass film didn't really quite do it justice, I don't think. And, um... and that's such a sad ending. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm going to sit on a bench forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that would be cool. I don't know why that sparked this, but uh, years and years ago, uh, someone who used to be an animator at Disney did a storyboard for a Disney version of Wicked. Wow. And so if that ever happened, I would die of the happy. <laughs> um, and it would make, it would make my life very nice. There's, there's a book series that I was reading. It's, it was by an author who passed away, uh, Robert Jordan, uh, the mm. Wheel of Time series, and then Brandon Sanderson picked up for him. I would... Uh, I have a couple of t-shirts that have some very cool drawings of my favorite character, uh, Matron, in that one. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. dude, I mean, Matron dude is Ashindari, he's so badass. Um, I, I would, I would, uh, oh, is that be friends? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would. After the panels are done, let's, let's just sit around and talk about this for and hours. And let's just talk about <laughs> what old Tom Maryland's up to. <laughs> I would, I would kill, oh, well, actually, now that I think about it, when you said, who would I love to voice, if I could make that into an anime series. Um, I think it could be as big, I mean, if they did like a Game of Thrones treatment to that, but as an anime series, um, The Wheel of Time, and I would love to voice like Matt or just, any, oh God, and Lan, he's just so awesome. Lan, um, yeah. He's just such oh, a badass. But in terms of uh, uh, more animated voices, Loyal. 
Loyal would be pretty cool too. Yeah, this, uh, the non-human characters. We're, we're nerding out between. Hold on, right? everyone! Stop <laughs> the stop the panel. <laughs> we have to like, we have to start taking notes. Sure. <laughs> no, so yeah, so that that for me would be like one of the ultimate things, or any like of books like that. So it wouldn't necessarily be a, a manga that I'd make, but I'd love to see that as a series because it's such a great series that it needs. I feel like it's like everyone watch it, everyone read it. So to get it out there, yeah. And you agree with me, so that's his answer too. <laughs> I, 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 I speak for my thoughts. So uh, the things that uh, I love about, uh, and, and to, to sum it up, you know, way too much nerd culture to say it that way, is that it is it is such a a place for the disenfranchised to go. Um, people who are belittled, people who are bullied, people who can't find a place to fit. Um, and I love hearing stories about people who uh, realize that they have self-worth because of what they saw in a story. Um, what we're thinking about, you know, with the, the controversy going on right now at the Oscars, uh, and it, it's, it has to do with, is my story worth being told to a broader audience, or is my story only, you know, pull off in the corner? Um, one of the favorite things I ever heard, as a Star Trek fan, I got to hear the story a lot of when Whoopi Goldberg Right? <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg is watching Star Trek as a kid, and she sees Uhura on television, and she jumped up, she runs to her mother, she says, Mama, Mama, there's a black lady on TV, and she ain't no maid. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the first time in that little girl's life that she realized she was capable of uh, not hitting a ceiling, uh, and that inspired her to become the celebrity, the, the, the successful actor and comedian that she, that she was. Uh, so... When it turns to something that I would like to create, I would like to create something that could inspire a child to realize that they are capable of reaching beyond what society is um, telling them either overtly or indirectly. You're not allowed to reach past that. That's Bring your expectations. What's that? That societal supposition. I can only be this. Right. Um, anything that prevents me from, prevents any child from saying, I, I'll never deserve to try. I want to create something that can turn that around. What is that? I'm not really sure. But I'm starting from a place of idealism. And I'm also starting as every demographic that is aligned with privilege I have. <laughs> so I shouldn't be the one. <laughs> Please, white man, tell me all <laughs> privilege. <laughs> what would you do? Tell the story of the lion, and the lion doesn't speak English, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> felt like I needed to shake my your mane out. Yeah. What's your question? Okay, I have a two more. Okay. Oh so, wait. Oh um. Uh, I have that. Last question. Okay. Yeah, last question. Nate Ryuichi goes through a lot of transition in anime. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite point of playing her? Oh my gosh, I think at the end when well not the end but uh, when she blows the door open, mm -hmm. um, and sacrifices herself. It's like she oh, finds yeah. her humanity and um, turns from. Being a terrorist and um, bombing everything, bombing every, like bombing <laughs> for destruction mm -hmm. to destroy and um, She's bombs bombing for hope. <laughs> She's bombing, bombing for good. Bombing for hope, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that. Also, when her arm got ripped off the second time, right. that was pretty cool. <laughs> Almost cosplayed as her, but yeah, <laughs> you got two parts. Yeah. So. Sorry. Second part oh, is your limitation. <laughs> Which of your characters do you relate to the most out of any of your animes? Anything you've ever done? It's Saki Watanabe from the New World. Oh, she, you guys go. I can't. <laughs> I can't do absolute. Can't. Yeah. That's, well, um, you can or, right, so if you were to, I, I would say, may I uh, attempt to help modify your question? Yes. Uh, if you were to pick one, what is the one feature of that person? Oh, that's also good. Oh, I yes. like that. Oh, oh um, this is better. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah. it's much more specific. I guess I, I have to go, um, and anybody who's heard me talk at all this weekend, you'll probably say this, The Rolling Girls. Go watch it. It's yes. amazing. Um, Nozomi Moritomo is the lead character there. She's a... Uh, she starts out just sort of in this small town, in the shadow, uh, not in a in necessarily a way she even realizes, in the shadow of her older sister figure who's out there saving the world. And she packs up just because she's determined. She packs up, finds her friends, they go on this road trip, and she grows tremendously. And by the end of it, without even having like any huge moment of 
clarity, you just realize that at the end of it, she's capable. And she doesn't have superpowers, all she has is heart. Mm -hmm. And I dig that so much, and uh, I, I can only hope that I present that in my own life. Uh, I recently was in a show called Ultimate Otaku Teacher, and <laughs> the director was like, I saw this character and I thought of you, would you like to play him? And I'm like, uh, yeah, absolutely, what's, what's he like? And they started describing him, and he's basically, he doesn't want to work. Uh, <laughs> because he's into video games, uh, anime, or, or cartoons, uh, manga, and he's really, and I'm not saying like I'm super smart, like he invented like technology that we don't have, but so he's like, I don't have to work because I'm a genius and, and like when the, te when the technology catches up to my theorems, then I'll start working again. But he doesn't do anything unless he really wants to do, unless he yearns to do it. Um, and as I was playing this character, I was like, oh my god, it, it's me. Because I was thinking back, like when I was in uh, college, in one of my costume classes, I like half-assed everything. I was like, costume class? I'm an actor. I don't want to do this. And then they were like, oh, we're going to do one where we're going to make like sock puppets. And that's really fun. And I was like, oh, OK. And I'm looking, and there's this bright pink sock. And I was really big into Dragon Ball Z at the time. So I was like, oh my god, I'm going to make that into Majin Buu. And I made the most detailed, like, I put more effort into that damn sock puppet than I did into my entire, like, college career. And I was like, yeah, anime. And I made a cape, and I cut out, like, this little letter, and I made him gloves, and I got him a spindle for his head. I made, I was like, cool, here it is. And, like, everyone was like, wow, where are your other projects for the year? And I'm like, oh no, everything's just in this one. Like, that's all I care about. Um, and just like any time where it's something, or, or I remember my dad when I was younger, he's like, you never study, but if you're playing your video games, you'll get out notebooks and you'll start to write down like, oh, okay, let me make my map for Zelda. I'm like, okay, cool, <laughs> where do I gotta go? And like, let me write down like, oh, this enemy has this. And he's like, yeah, you'll sit for hours. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's because that's what I want to do. I want to write about video games and all that. And he's like, yeah, but you need to pass school. Like, you need to, <laughs> but, like, this is a real world, world so... Being that, it's like, I, I, that character, I was like, that's me, and I, he's very near and dear to my heart, because it's like, that's awesome, like, a voice for the people, finally, <laughs> and I'm the people. <laughs> I, I think the closest I could get, because um, so many of the, the characters that I play are, you know, like, they, they don't have a whole arc, you know what I mean? Um, I definitely have been, I've been shot and killed several times, I've been the, what the, was that? Toriko, you were absolutely destroyed. I mean, there's, you know, the, uh, the the number of body parts that have been crushed, to cut off, to caught fire, to, you know, all of this. So, none of them. Uh, <laughs> if I could. But no, there's, um, on Case Closed, there's a character uh, that got to have uh, three parts to it. And I remember at one point, he, you know, he sort of meets, 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 uh, meets the girl and thinks, maybe this could, but, you know, she's, part of the main cast and he's not so he had this really <laughs> <laughs> so I knew you kind of knew it was, it. Knew it was doomed um, in terms of and I'm not just talking about personal relationship uh, I, I at the time I was doing that I was in several failed relationships and a huge string of uh, things that I couldn't quite get to work so it was it was for me about building the confidence to come out and say or to take an action towards something that I wanted um, if I played you know sort of the converse, if I played a lot of vi video games and was drawing a map myself for Zelda, that was to avoid anything that I wanted to be doing in life because this is risk-free because it only involves me. And that's so much more risky because it involves being rejected by a potential romantic partner or a potential business partner or something, and I was so scared of that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dude, I think you just also psychoanalyzed me, too. Like, like, oh my god! I didn't have to break through. I just realized I was, I was sort of just shamanistically drawing that. I know, that wow. Time. Here's my issues! That's um, why I... But no, it's that, that, that ability to do this guy, and in spite of the fact it didn't work, work out for him, was able to say, you know what, this is what I want. It didn't work? Alright, well, I want to go try something else in, a, in another life that doesn't involve the main thread of the show anymore. Um, I want to go... The so. whole time I was drawing maps of Link to a heart container, I just wanted someone to draw a map to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I really wanted. Alright, that's it. That's it. Alright, thank you all for joining us.